What is up, YouTube? It is time. It is ultimately time. We have done eight episodes up until now of the show that I actually really do enjoy. And I am kind of sad to see it go, kind of sad to see it all end. But at the same time, hey, all good things must come to an end. And there's going to be some other dreaded show that comes out that I can record re review as well. So that, that's that. Uh, Milf Manor has finally come to an end here on this channel. I know as Disbrew and some other people got it done with last week. I don't know what the heck was up with me. I was always an episode behind. So we're here to the final episode. The finale. To figure out who's going to stay with who. How is this all going to move on? And I have to say, I don't see half these relationships. Maybe one relationship might go the distance. I don't see any of the other relationships going the distance. Not one bit. I think these are all heinous, awful human beings that I'm shocked actually got this far. But you know what? Let's get into it. So we open up and, and it's the nighttime and a whole crew's sitting around. You got McKenna, you got Emma, McKenna being Disco Mommy's little daughter, you know, Disco Bunny. Joey, ba little baby boy Joey's older sister, I think. Or maybe little sister. I think older sister. You know, you got Jose Jalapeno. You got, oh, the goddess Emma, who are Paula's kids. You got Ryan. You got Grandma April. And... They're, they're sitting around, they're talking, they're going to play a game. They're, they're, they're going to play a game. They're going to play truth or dare. Now, this is going to be fascinating to see how this all goes down because they're, some individuals aren't so keen on truth or dare. Jose is not really big on doing a lot of the truth or dare stuff because it gets really creepy and really crazy and a lot of people start pointing out like hey this can get disturbing real fast but the first incident happened mckenna asks emma how does she feel about joey now for those of you who weren't here at the end of the last episode she kind of started putting the moves onto joey and mm -mm 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 kind of jealous of Joey honestly but little baby boy Joey gets told by McKenna some interesting stuff and no it's disco mommy asks Emma what she feels about Joey and that's what it is so the information comes out that she has butterflies the first time she met saw Joey I don't believe her but she got all hot and bothered and was like Ooh, I love, I think he's so cute. I want to know more about him. Ooh. Well, 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 well. Well, that little inf tidbit of information, you know, really shook up the place. But, and April says, you know, hearing her say that he, she got all flustered when she saw him for the first time, kind of, kind of rattled me a bit. I, and I used to be very jealous, but I'm not jealous anymore. Because I know what me and have are super strong and perfect. No. No. But as the story continues, Emma gets her turn to say truth or dare, dare to Disco Mommy, I believe. Yes, Disco Mommy. And sh Disco Mommy says dare. And Emma dares Disco Mommy to take a body shot off Jose. Emma is Jose the Jalapeno's sister. Disco Mommy is the lady Jose is dating, I guess. And the dare is to t take a body shot. It gets really graphic and really creepy in a disturbing way because everybody's there to watch Disco Mommy lick Jose's body. Very sexual and graphic. You know, you get Ryan there saying, I'm getting a view I don't want to see. Yep. I don't blame you, bud. I do not blame you. And now as everybody's all like, oh, yeah, that was fun. That was fun. You know, it was interesting. 
Jose dares April, Grandma April, to go and kiss Joey. Now, there's some interesting dynamics here. Yes, when you look at it, Jose was had a dare that ultimately made him very, very uncomfortable. He's not big into PDA. Okay, Made his mom uncomfortable. I don't know why the heck Emma allowed that. Don't know. Don't care. Moving on. We, there is that interesting though that, hey, Emma said she had butterflies for Joey. Now the dare is for April, Grandma April, to kiss little baby boy Joey. And she does just that to help mock her inevitable territory. And to show everybody, hey, you know, he's mine. But as the night goes on, Joey starts to admit, you know, because of the togetherness of between me and April, because of April, not not April, Emma, because Emma and I are talking more and more, because April's ex-husband came around, I don't know if I'm so interested in this. That those were words that came out of little baby boy Joey's mouth. He he's not. He's not okay with what's going on. Doesn't know where it's going to go. So, oh, of course, Joey comes by because April sat down with Stephanie and Peace to ha have a little chit chat. But he comes by to take away April. And April and him have a discussion. And he lays out that he's not okay with what happened the other day. He's not okay with the ex-husband coming in, sweeping her off, ignoring him and treating like he doesn't matter. He was not okay with that and he doesn't know how to respond he doesn't know what to do and you know she's there saying listen that's just his humor it's perfectly fine he that's just him you need to get to know him do you here let me call him so we can get you can get to know him and he says i don't want to get to know him i don't care i'm kind of hurt and it feels like you're blowing me off now that i i get where he's coming from that's why in the end i don't I don't blame, uh, I think that their ending is actually one of the more accurate endings to this whole show. There's one other one that I think is probably going to go the distance, but we'll save that for then. And ultimately, they're, they continue having a little bickering thing, but interesting stuff happens. And coming up, we'll have some fun. Okay, McKenna and Emma say goodbye. Damn, McKenna, put some clothes on, girl. And they're all happy because, yay, I love Disco Mommy is all like, oh, loves Joey. Joey, not Joey, uh, Jose, I loves Joey, Jose so much. He makes me feel all good and happy inside. And I'm just like, oh, my God, move on, woman. And McKenna's like, I think they're going to hit it off. And bye bye. Now we get an interesting moment. Emma and Joey. Continue talking before Emma leaves. Of course, you got all this wine and alcohol sitting around. And Emma, 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 the beautiful goddess Emma, asks Joey for his number. Because they want to continue talking. They want to continue interacting and everything, having some fun. And Joey gives it to her. Joey freely gives her his number. And they're going to keep talking and having fun together. Now for the next day. The next day, Jose gets a text message. As they're all sitting around just nonchalantly talking, randomly Jose gets a text message. And of course the overacting happens. You, bad actors are here. So, text message reads, These are your final days here in the villa, but for some of you, you don't realize that today is your last day. You're, you're already gone. And everybody's all shocked by that. Like, oh my God, what? It's already time to leave? What, what's going on? Well, the, this is what's happening. The men are going to have to leave. And the women are staying because tonight, they must write very heartfelt letters about where their relationship is going to go in the real world. Are they going to stay together? Are they going to separate? What's going to happen? 
I believe only one relationship is going to stay together. I think another relationship ended quite accurately. And you guys can probably figure out what that relationship is. The other two relationships, I don't see them going past the door. It's shocking. But it's TV. So guys leave. Women are left behind. And everybody's like, I don't know how we're going to do this. Writing heartfelt letters to the people we like. And they go down the list of everybody writing these letters and saying, man, this is super hard. I don't want to leave him, but I hope he... He feels this way and they go one by one, April, Joey, all saying the same thing. Like, this is hard. Stephanie saying she's not going to cry, but she's starting to cry. And she, Gabriel just nonchalantly doing it. Stephanie being, no, Paula. Oh, Paula. Paula, like, I, I don't know if this is going to work out and I'm, I'm struggling. I'm, I'm really struggling here. Get Ryan. And I'm going to stop on Ryan for a moment because I, Ryan's the man. You know, I think Jose's a player. Ryan's a romantic individual. Because he's there like, okay, I'm going to make this song that's not finished. He starts singing a song, you know, and I'm not going to even try for to spare CJP's, uh, CJP's um, listening. But there, he's just sitting there like, hey, I like her. This song isn't completed because I ultimately hope we can complete this song together. Because I thought, you know what? Ryan, you're the man. I, I respect you. Then we get over to Jose, who's just struggling to write anything to Kelly. And then we get over to Kelly, who's... Basically crying, saying this is hard. I don't want him to break up with me. I'm just going to tell him everything I want to know. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, woman. You have, I think it's five to six kids with different husbands. You're the whore. Why do you care if a little dude doesn't break up with you? You've had tons of dudes coming after you, obviously. Holy crap, I don't believe you have a heart. I don't believe you're anything, but you're over here. Oh God, I, I just, I don't like Kel. I don't like Disco Mommy. And she's all blubbery and crying. Now, the next day, and we see as everybody returns, well, almost everybody is returning for the final ceremonies. All of them sit down and interact, and we go one by one down the list, and everybody's all like, yeah, we, we are here because we want to show support, and So Young's like, no, nah, I just want to see who's going to break up with who. I want to see how this all turns out. That's kind of where I'm at. I want to know how this all turns out. I don't fully believe how it turns out, but then the ladies start coming out, all of them like, this is like very hard, and we're here, happy to have everybody here to support us, and then we start getting the dramatic moments as Stephanie walks out with her rose. And as you can see, Gabriel's walking on the beach with his rose and letter in hand. And it's all this super dramatic slow motion as they walk up together. And Stephanie begins to read her letter. Lays it all out there of how much she loves him, appreciates him, and how she makes him feel all happy and good inside. Then we get a cut to break where you know gabriel doesn't respond the way everything is and every, yeah yeah everybody's like oh i hope he responds the way we think he's gonna respond and he responds very lackluster basically like i don't yeah i, I like you in the discussion and stephanie takes note of that like it feels like he's just phoning this in but i don't really care but ultimately, the decision's in his hands. So is this going to go on? And Gabriel says, yes. They're going to continue into the real world being in a couple. And this is where I, one of the things I don't believe. I don't believe this relationship is going to go anywhere, especially with what gets said next as they're rejoicing that they're together. I'm trying to get to it. Because obviously I went through that way too fast. 
What gets said next is important. When they're doing their little heart to heart to the camera, they're all like, yay, we're going to be together. And she mentions, we're going to take you to church. And he says he's going to burst into flames. She is a very religious individual. How religious? I don't really know. She's kind of a... But he obviously doesn't really respect religion. He doesn't really care about religion or anything like that. This relationship isn't going to work out. He is a controlling, manipulative freak, and she fell for him hook, line, and sinker. I don't see this relationship moving anywhere on. If it does, oh my God, what did who had to pay who? Now we get to baby boy Joey walking up all Fabio. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll clean cut. And April is there waiting for him. And I'm just going to run towards the end and tell you what happened. So they all said there's peace. You know, they Joey's like, hey, I do like you, but something's telling me some stuff that I'm not appreciative, but I'm curious on where this is going to go. So I'm going to go the distance. And you know, April says her piece. And she's like, you know what? I do like you. I loves you. I think you're wonderful. I think you're cool. But here's the thing. You're free. You're free to figure out who you want to be with and who you want to stay live the rest of your life with. Because obviously it's not me, but where I'm wanting to stay in your life as well. So let's stay friends. And that is how it ends. They, they decide to stay best friends forever. You know, they, they have some fun. They, they're going to be nice together and have a loving friendship. My God, I am just not going through this fast enough. But I, this is one of the two relationships that I think actually ended more accurately. I think these two not getting together is actually the right choice. I don't see them actually being compatible as much as they act like they are. Being friends... I could actually see that working out for these two. You know, they're, they're, th this could be nice for him. And Joey being all into Emma and everything, and Emma being more closer to his age, probably works out for the best. I mean, he's baby boy and she's the grandma. So th this, this will be fascinating. Next up, Ryan and Paula. Ryan and Paula have a loving moment, very heartfelt both of them talking from their hearts, telling each other how they feel very dramatically. And, you know, they, they basically say, hey, skip to the end. They want to live it out together. They love each other very much. They see each other being together. They, they're always surprised by each other. They always make each other feel better. They always make each other feel like they want to go even harder and faster and stronger. Harder, faster, stronger, better. Anyways. They complete each other is what it ultimately is. And they want to know, that, see where this all goes. In Miami, and they're all gonna, both going to move to Miami. And they, they stick it out. And I know a lot of people are saying, hey, a lot of these relationships they don't believe actually were real. Kind of felt lackluster, whatever. Only two relationships I think were, are complete bogus and fake. Two other relationships I think ended out very accurately. That is April and Joey, Paula and Ryan. I can see those two relationships ending just like this, and I think that ends very accurately. I do think Paula and Ryan are actually a good fit for each other. They are very caring and loving, obviously. They both have similar interests, and I can see that actually going the distance. Excuse me. Even though this is a fake show but 110 percent like none of this is real i could see that actually act being accurate interesting though th there is a comment of babies and no babies might want kids let's see what happens so that might be the deal breaker now it's time for the serious one and i don't I don't like how this ended at all. Because actually, I ultimately don't remember how this ended. I think they got super touchy feely. Everybody's all crying, all dramatic and stuff. And 
you know, Disco Mommy's there crying and stuff, and ultimately, you know, Jose says his piece. I don't fully remember how this all went down, but I believe they ended up getting together. I, I believe. G give me one moment. I need, I need to hear this. Yes. Sorry. I'm cutting that out. Fixing it up. Cleaning it up. I couldn't remember this part. I don't know what was happening when I was watching this. But yes. Jose. And Disco Mommy. Are going to stay a couple. I, I thought that was how it was going to end. Here's the thing. I don't. I don't see it. I'm with Paula. I don't see their relationship at all. I think they are both very broken people. Well, Disco Mommy is a very broken individual that you don't want to actually have a relationship with. And I see Jose not really realizing that. I mean, in her whole own letter, and I, I'm not going to lie, in her own letter, she said, hey, you said you needed space. You, you were very slow and wanted to take things slow. So I backed off. And I, and I let you come back to me. How she did that was going after Billy and trying to get him Billy's pants. I don't see this going anywhere anytime soon. I see this being a disaster of a relationship in the future. I see it ending in fire. And my God, it's the stupidest thing ever. But everybody's like, oh my God, it's such wonderful thing. Oh, look, the, the will they won't, they actually got together. And they all celebrate and have fun, and it's real emotions, yada, yada, yada. I don't see how, the two of the relationships I don't see actually ending. I see one relationship being accurate. I see the other relationship ending very accurately, and I think that's actually for the best. But, hey, show's over. The fakeness is done, and I'm kind of sad that my favorite show on TV right now is over. So that is that. Let me get you guys' thoughts down in the comments below. I'm I'm a little disappointed with how it all ended, but that's just me. Let me get let me know what you guys think. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it out with your friends. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell for every time I put out a new video and go live, guys. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.